Beautiful tribe, <laughs> beautiful starlight tribe. I am making this vlog as a call to prayer. And I am making it because for a year, for a year, throughout the whole of 2021, we held, as you probably know, these amazing held in prayer ceremonies that had all of these incredible healings and wisdoms and beauties flowing, flowing through them. And it was always guided that that particular held in prayer journey would begin on the 2nd of February 2021 and would end on the 2nd or, or for the 2nd of the 2nd 2022, which is the 222 portal that is what everybody's talking about um, in terms of ascension. You know, the, the numerologists, the astrologists, the channels, everybody's like the 222. Very, very, very exciting moment in, in, in our ascension journey. And so it was guided that uh, this crystal would be next to the held in prayer candle every every ceremony every every prayer and so this crystal for for a for a year has been absorbing all of the prayers from held in prayer you know when you think how many prayers have happened because held in prayer is usually two days minimum um so every held in prayer ceremony is usually 48 hours if not longer so that's 48 prayers and then you've got the doubled up prayers and then all of the transmissions like so much energy <laughs> so much beautiful prayer energy has gone into this crystal and on the two 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 it is being offered to the earth and i had a really really beautiful realization that in 2019, my guide suddenly started talking about seeding the new earth, seeding the new earth. That's what it was all about. That's what the solstice land work that we did was about. And it was only like this solstice that I realized that what, you know, what they meant by seeding the new earth was really about putting new prayer, putting blessed energy back into the earth, because, you know, what the earth is all about what we grow out of. It's all about the foundation out that which life grows out of. And some of you have heard me say many times that shadow work, you know, is about changing the soil. Soil work is about changing what we grow out of. But any gardener or soil expert is going to tell you it's not just about removing what is destructive. It's also about putting in what, what is nourishing and what is meant to bloom. And, and as I had this realization, I was like, now I understand. I mean, my guides have always been pretty into crystal offerings, but in the last couple of years, Honestly, they, the, the amount of kind of intentions that have been buried, I suddenly understood that it was all about repairing the soils or making the soils of consciousness more healthy, more blessed. And one of the most beautiful things that, that can be buried <laughs> in this time is prayer you know this time is is called the time of the rainbow prayer for a reason and and this crystal is holding so many so many rainbow prayers and it's going to be offered in a place that i know is a place 
in Avebury that when you you offer there, it goes so deep, you know, it goes so, so it's an offering to the collective, it's an offering to the whole. And so this is really, really, really exciting. And, and this ceremony, you know, of course, for this, this finale, <laughs> there needs to be a held in prayer ceremony. And of course, I would love it if everybody that has been part of this held in prayer ceremony was called to pray. Um, and of course, I completely trust that if you're not <laughs> called, that's because you're not and you'll be where you want to be on the 2, two, twenty, two, two. But if you are called to pray, if you are called to be part of the finale, you know, when I tune into the land work and the ceremony, it's just such an increase in light it's just it's almost like becoming weightless it's like wow this is such an increase in light quotient it's such a beautiful intention for the ceremony it's bliss it's about believing in miracles and it's and it feels like the offering of, of these rainbow prayers to the soil, you know, that's part of the prophecy. It's part of the rainbow bridge. It's part of, of course, the new age that was seen in the rainbow prophecy, in the rainbow prayer, has to have rainbow soil. Of course, it has to have blessed and play, prayed into foundations and soil. And so it feels like such a beautiful thing to be part of at such a significant, significant moment. And obviously the more, the more prayer keepers, the more oneness there is, the more the miracle body is activated, the more that can happen in that time space coordinate, which is gathering so many kind of guides and ascension energies. And um, here's the other really cool thing. So I thought this was gonna be the big offering. <laughs> it definitely is a big one. But this baby is an amazing record keeper that I got in Ibiza. And it, it was always guided that this was the records of the temple age it holds temple age records like temple ceremonies and all of that which if you've been part of held in prayer before you know that they are part of the offerings for the ceremonies and as i was writing the description in my living room for the held in bliss ceremony this crystal literally blew itself open. <laughs> and this bit, which is golden, <laughs> I need to point out, and like an angel wing, just flew off. And so this is also being offered, which is an activation of that. It's like the template, the, the, temple plate the activation of the golden template of aquaria that knowledge also being offered to the soils that ceremonial way also being offered to the soils the records of the ceremonies and the way of of ceremony rather than the way of story And maybe you're getting tingles. I'm getting tingles. So yeah, I now have a slightly thinner crystal. <laughs> um, but this piece is 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 going into, and this feels really, really, really important that the 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 template for a temple age and the rainbow prayer 
and the 222 are being part of the activation of the miracle body. And you know, a miracle is something that happens outside of your limitations. And so an activation of the, the miracle body is a way to evolve past your limitations. It's a way to become more than you can imagine you can be, which is exactly what you, me, Gaia, everyone needs in this amazing ascension process. And it feels like bliss, because like the guides say, bliss is the feeling of believing in miracles. And so, phrase that they were saying, the whole of 2021, begin with bliss, is held in prayer ceremony, is begin with bliss. If you don't know how to pray, it doesn't matter. We will show you how to pray. You can pray in any way that's right for you. But if you're feeling the tingles, if you're feeling the call, if you're feeling the magic, then this ceremony is by donation. Um, you can donate whatever is right in your heart afterwards. And I hope that as many of you as possible can join us. I send you all so much love, so much prayer, so much rainbow and golden temple magic, and so much gratitude. This held in prayer journey has been truly beautiful. Sending you all so much love. Mwah.